Hello, and welcome or welcome back to Mists of Time Emporium. I'm Joni, and today we'll be taking a walk through the Lord of the Rings Tarot deck. This is a new deck. It was just released. Ashley just received it, and we're pleased to share it with you. And we start out with this beautiful illustrated box. The box is beautiful inside and out. Just a um, plain lid, but these are just gorgeous illustrations. Look at that eagle. Wonderful. Now, this deck is unusual in that it doesn't come with a little white guide, a little white book. It comes with this fold-out guide. So it welcomes us to the road, and then it starts, as you fold it out, it starts with the major arcana. Now, this the ends of this map are made of the same stock. It feels like the same stock as the cards. So it seems sturdy, but this is just, it folds out like a map map. So it folds out and folds out and folds out and folds out. So the front side is all the majors, <clears throat> excuse me, up until the 10 of rings, which is the only non-standard suit. And then on the other side, on the back side, it's the rest of the suits. Um, it's already started to crinkle up. I think it's a little cumbersome. So I'm not sure how that's going to work out long term. I, you know, I think they, they know fans are going to recognize the characters and probably won't need to reference too much. But again, I think it's a cute idea, but I'm not sure how practical it is. That's the bottom of the box. And then these are the cards. Let's start this way with Gandalf the White. I love these. First of all, I love the woodcut style. I think it really adds an old time feeling to these cards. And especially with the cups, you know, you see these images, these wood cart cut images, and you're just taken back to the tavern and you can hear the singing and, and imagine the dancing on the tables. So the background looks like um, very parchment-y. So it really adds to that flavor. So again, I think, you know, most fans will recognize all of these characters. You know, they don't they don't look like the movie characters, and that's fine with me. The book characters didn't look like the movie characters. <laughs> and we are a big fan of the books. It's that time of year where we'll be pulling them out to reread them again. Isn't that delightful? So sweet. I love this. If I haven't already said it, I may have the limited color palette. I think the illustrator did a great job with really capturing the feel of the items. Ace of Rings. It's a little decapitation happening in that card. So this is the only one that's not readily apparent, I think, when you are first flipping through the cards that that's the swords, but I think it's a great idea. <laughs> Choices, right? Oh. This is my favorite card. 
I just absolutely love this, the fellowship. And I love this judgment card too. Excuse the background noise. I'm recording this late again today. So the grandchildren are busy being happy in the background. Legolas. <laughs> he thought he was the hermit, Gimli. And Samwise. Elrond, Aragorn, Arwen, Galandriel, Corsair, Gandalf the Grey. And we end back at the beginning, here and back again, with Frodo as the fool. So thanks for taking this journey with me today. We appreciate you being here. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.